Hey, how you doing? This is Adam Post, publisher of more than a thousand comic books, and I've been covering Marvel, Disney, and Super Mario pretty closely these last several months. And Mario, believe it or not, is doing so well, it didn't just break a billion dollars, but it's actually running hotter in its fourth weekend that Marvel's Spider-Man No Way Home was doing. And Spider-Man No Way Home did $1.9 billion. It doesn't mean that Super Mario is necessarily going to wind up beating Spider-Man in the long run, but so far the situation is looking pretty good if you're Nintendo and Super Mario, and not so great if you're Marvel. You probably know that Sony puts out the Marvel movies, they co-produce them with Disney, and the movies have been better as they've been co-producing them with Disney, but they are doing nowhere near the business now that Super Mario Brothers is doing. Maybe the next Spider-Man movie will, maybe it won't. Marvel has damaged their brand severely by going so far woke. They are the Bud Light of comic book superhero franchises. Let's get into this article from Cosmic Book News. Before we do, please be sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications and give me a thumbs up. Really appreciate you guys. Super Mario box office jumps past $1 billion. The film follows the beloved Brooklyn plumbers, Mario and brother Luigi, as they are transported down a mysterious pipe and wander into a magical new world. In only four weekends of release, the Super Mario Brothers movie box office has jumped past the magical $1 billion mark at the box office and is the biggest video game adaption in history. They are destroying Disney's animation unit. Disney can't keep up in animation anymore, which is incredible. This is an article from The Wrap, how Disney animation lost the box office crown to Universal for three straight years with no turnaround in sight. And it's really because Disney has not been focusing on their franchises and pleasing their customers. And when I say pleasing their customers, yes, there's a lot of woke stuff in there. They've damaged a lot of the brands. The last Buzz Lightyear movie was terrible, but it's not just that. They're not even paying attention to releasing sequels. They recently announced they're gonna release a Zootopia sequel. And they recently announced they were gonna release another Toy Story and a Frozen sequel. The last Frozen movie came out in 2019 did $1.4 billion, which is a lot of money. It's fantastic. It's extremely profitable for them. But until recently, they didn't even start planning to do another sequel. What's the excuse for that? In 2013, Frozen did $1.2 billion. That's a lot of money. It took them six years to get the sequel out. Universal works a lot more quickly. They're much more focused on their business and their franchises. And of course, pleasing their customers. The Super Mario Brothers flick added another $40.8 million domestically this past weekend, the best fourth weekend ever for an animated movie, and even managed to beat out Spider-Man No Way Home's $32.1 million fourth weekend gross. I mean, could you imagine this? Mario could actually wind up doing bigger business than Spider-Man No Way Home. It's become such a huge cultural phenomenon, and it did it without the backing of a major Marvel franchise with multiple decades of movies now. It's amazing how much money and success these films can have when they just focus on pleasing their customers. The Super Mario Brothers movie is the number one movie of 2023, bringing in a current worldwide gross of over a billion dollars with a domestic gross, meaning non-international, of almost $500 million and over $500 million internationally. The film is also currently the 19th best of all time. So if it didn't take in another penny, it would still be the 19th best of all time, the fourth best PG movie of all time in terms of revenue, and is number nine on the all-time worldwide animated box office gross list. Frozen 2 is at the top with $1.4 billion thanks to a massive $960 million international box office. And again, it brings up the question, if Disney was focused on their business, why didn't they have a Frozen sequel? If you saw Frozen 1, saw Frozen 2, I saw both of them. They were okay, not great. They were a little unique, nice songs, okay. Animation was good. No excuse they couldn't have put out a Frozen 3 and really a Frozen 4 by now. Every two years they should have another Frozen movie until they stop making a fortune. Fans also like what they see with Super Mario Brothers as the movie has a 96% audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. That's how you know the franchise is on target. What's the audience score like? What is the audience saying about the product? NBC Universal, Illumination, and Nintendo celebrate the big success. NBC Universal, Illumination, and Nintendo are also celebrating the big success as the collaboration between global entertainment brands continues. NBC Universal is not only bringing the iconic franchise to life on the big screen, but is also giving fans the opportunity to experience the world of Mario up close and personal in its theme parks. 
So now they're expanding Mario out to be in their theme parks. They're eating Disney's lunch. They're playing Disney's game and they're playing to win. And they're obviously winning. How is Disney supposed to compete with something like this? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think Disney's ever going to turn around? Or do you think they need to have a complete change in management first? Because it doesn't seem like their focus is on the brands and on the franchises. And definitely not on the customers. Super Mario was even on SNL and Jimmy Fallon. Additionally, NBC Universal celebrated Mario across the company. Iconic NBC property Saturday Night Live featured Funky Kong, a weekend update to discuss the Super Mario Brothers movie and spoofed an adaption of Mario Kart with Mario and Friends. Recently, the cast from the movie joined Jimmy Fallon and his in-house band as they orchestrated a rendition of the Mario theme song. Nintendo legend and game creator Shigeru Miyamoto even makes an appearance, and it now has racked up more than 2.4 million views. So this is what you do when you're building a cultural phenomenon and you have success. All of these extra add-ons, because they happen to also own NBC, they have their own theme parks, they can do a lot of business, they're really turning into what Disney used to be and could have been. It's amazing to see this kind of a transition. You would never expect to see this, that a company could come in, play Disney's game, and actually win and beat them. Are they even going to beat Spider-Man? Let me know what you think of that in the comments below. Is it possible that Universal could wind up actually outdoing Disney at its own game between the films, the merchandise, and the theme parks? Really love to see what you have to say. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please be sure you're also subscribed to the channel. Click the bell for notifications and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon with another video. And if I don't see you, I will miss you.